Hello, welcome to the Cobo Challenge at Art Basel. And uh, we're sitting here with uh, JJ Acuna. Hello. <laughs> and Hi. Jason Schlava. Hello. JJ is an architect based between Hong Kong and Manila and uh, also a, a very prolific uh, uh, blogger and writer about art and design and all things fabulous and fun. And Jason uh, uh, has a magazine, uh, designs and produces a magazine uh, on arts and culture that is centered each time on one part of the body, right? One body part at a time. One body part at a time, exactly. And the so magazine is called Bite Me. Bite Me magazine, exactly, which is takes takes fun very seriously. Yes. What we were saying. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, or it makes theory, serious things really fun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. We come at it from both sides. Okay. Or making sexy Needed things <laughs> really fun as well. So for example, good. yeah. Good. Why don't you tell us, for example, about your favorite body part? Let's start with that. Uh. <laughs> we haven't actually covered my favorite body part yet. Um, okay. So we started with the butt. Okay. We've done yeah. hair. Yeah, that's, and that's, we've that done would be my favorite. The mouth. <laughs> I like the mouth. That's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. fun. Yeah. But personal favorite has to be the neck. The neck. Okay. okay. The neck. Okay. What? So you're on your third issue? Finished the third issue okay. and working on the fourth now, which is. A Are we working on the neck now or not? Because you seem not to have something very fun here at your neck. Yeah, let's well, show us this. Uh, this is this knitted scarf. Uh, my, what is this? <laughs> my favorite piece uh, from Art Basel so far. Oh wow! Oh wow! Be. Since we're, yeah, Amazing. favorite pieces. Is, we can um, talk about favorite pieces yeah. too. Definitely, yeah. it's from the Leap Magazine booth. And it's a photograph by Laurent Segretier. Oh, wow. oh fab! Okay, yes, on yes, a yes, towel, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, no, I, I've I've heard about this project. He's the one where he yeah. like goes on holiday and takes photos. Incredible! And yeah, then, he's been okay. taking travel photos for years, and finally, it's it's come together in a uh, fifty towel project. Oh wow! I like yeah. that. And Good. this one was my favorite of the bunch. It's an apartment in Tokyo. Okay. Blinged out. What are you wearing around your neck since we're on, on the topic of necks? <laughs> um, I'm wearing, uh, so I don't usually wear jewelry and I just saw, saw this when I was traveling and it's called uh, Rudraksha. So the seeds, these are seeds and uh -huh. they're from uh, the Himalayas okay. and they end India and uh, someone puts them together, you know, and these are stones. I, I, th I just think it looks really pretty. Yeah, so, it looks really nice. Yeah. It goes well with, how would you call this, co this, this color of blue? This would be electric blue. A shocking it? Yeah. electric blue. Or like blue, cobalt. Right? It would be like cobalt. cobalt. Yeah. Okay, yeah. like a cobalt. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you're, you're the fashion guru, so you already know. Well, it's actually uh, yeah, kind of absolutely. like a cousin of my skirt. Eh? Absolutely. So I think that, 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 I that think kind of... I think if cobalt stops here, this is one notch. One notch yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. on top of cobalt. Yeah. Okay. No, I just, yesterday I wore a really fiery red jacket. Mm -hmm. You know, to start off a gray, gloomy Art Basel week. <laughs> and today, uh, continuing with the bright colors, but, you know, a little bit more moody and somber for, uh, for Tuesday. So mm -hmm. Okay, good. and since you're talking about traveling, why do, I know that you went to the Philippines mm -hmm. recently. What was your favorite, favorite <sighs> thing that you saw in Manila this last time? Um, Manila is really interesting. Uh, I, I lived in Hong Kong for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was actually born in Manila. Um, but funny enough, I'm going back to Manila these days and trying to do some creative work there, trying to do business there, rediscover the art, rediscover the people, rediscover the culture. And uh, so far it's working out really well. I think there's really great things happening in Southeast Asia and I feel that Manila is leading the kind of art scene for Southeast Asian region and um, the design and fashion scene as well with the furniture made in Cebu. There's so many beautiful things okay. in the Philippines, yeah. And for example, if you had, if somebody who's visiting Art Basel now, you need to convince them to, to go to Manila this weekend instead of staying in Hong Kong. <laughs> why, why, why would you say, why, how, what would you say to convince because them? Because in Manila, it's always sunny and okay. blue skies. Well, and, that, this week and, especially, <laughs> that, that, that's a, a, a very uh, yeah. good uh, draw. Eh? Well, there, we're Hong Kong, we're making it very difficult for our um, foreign visitors to Art Basel this week because true. it's really Hong Kong weather at its worst. As Rainy, this year, yes, cloudy. we promise it's not like this the rest of the year. <laughs> please, come and, uh, please come in November. Absolutely, absolutely. Same with Singapore too, right? Uh, coming from Singapore this time has been a bit of a shock, stepping yeah. up the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. From 32 degrees and sweating to uh, being wet for a different reason. You know, it, it's really funny. I mean, there's so much happening this week in Art Basel. And we're very excited um, about what's going on, not only in the convention center, but all over the city. And um, 
but man, this rain. It's t- terrible. It really I makes it very difficult. I yesterday <laughs> and I actually woke up with like a hot throat this morning. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do this. Uh-huh. So yeah, going back to, to what you just said about yeah. Mukon, why don't you tell me so that we sort of wrap it up. Yeah. A, um, a couple of, it can be a, a restaurant or a, or, a, or a bar or a retail place that you would recommend to people in Hong Kong, a non-obvious recommendation for Hong Kong. Um, if you're visiting uh, Hong Kong for Art Basel this week, um, the best place for a nice drink and nice food would be at Paula's um, <laughs> house. Um, you know, it's super no! VIP and it's super private, but man, the Colombian food is so, so good. But otherwise... No, come on, let's no, think but of like a, a really cool recommendation of a, of a place to have a drink, for example. My favorite drink is gin at, in Ping Pong 129 in Saing Agree. Absolutely. And there is actually Absolutely. a... Uh, uh, there will be a Ming Wong uh, 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 performance there, uh, film being screen there. And so that's hi- a good reason. Uh, to absolutely. That's going to be mine. Say hi yeah. to the handsome bartender Juan. Absolutely. The most handsome bartender in Hong Kong. Tell them yeah, exactly. JJ, Paula, and, and Jason, Jason. <laughs> sent, sent you so that you could get your first drink for free. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely yeah. ping pong in Sai Pun, which is an a, 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 a up and coming uh, neighborhood with plenty of restaurants and fun bars uh, and, and Lots of fun things to uh, to do. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Anything else you want to say about Hong Kong and why you love it so much, apart from the weather? On the <laughs> on the food and beverage, yeah. gotta stop by Yardbird. Yardbird, and yeah, that's a good day, uh, recommendation. Almost a sister restaurant, yeah. Little Bao, just Little up Bao. the street. Okay, yeah, definitely Little Bao would be a, especially for the May's for the Bao's ice cream incredible. ice cream Bao. I think that's yeah. a that's that's a. a a good uh, tour of Hong Kong uh, Central. Dinner at Yardbird, dessert, the ice cream bao with little bao, exactly. then after dinner drinks at j- uh, Ping Pong. Ping Pong, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's only and that's a a, a one, one a very cheap uh, taxi away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. It's thank been a pleasure to have you. It's great. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you.